My job is to focus on goal six, which is the MDG combating HIV, AIDS, malaria, and other diseases. And for me personally, communicable diseases are a very useful lens with which to look at broader public health issues. Many of these have already come up today, so I'm hoping that uh, this talk will bring together some of those, some of the links between the different MG MDGs. <laughs> Target one is to halt and begin to reverse the spread of HIV AIDS. Target two, achieve by 2010 universal access to treatment for all those who need it. And target three, to have halted and begun to reverse the incidence <coughs> of malaria and other major diseases. And you'll see there are four indicators for target one, one for target two, and target three, there are three for malaria and two for tuberculosis. WHO report on figures around HIV, 33.2 million people living with HIV. There's been a reduction of 16% in global prevalence compared to 2005. 22.5 million with HIV living in Southern Africa and 1.7 million of these new HIV infections occurring in Southern Africa. So again, a strong Africa focus we have on, on HIV. The report says that prevalence is leveled off in the developing world, but deaths continue to occur. Though access to AIDS treatment has expanded, the need continues to grow. And in the hardest hit areas, more than half of those living with HIV are women. So a link into uh, MDG uh, three. Prevention measures are failing to keep pace with spread, it, spread of HIV. And then finally, a statement around orphans being an enormous social problem which will only get worse as more patients die of AIDS. So a kind of mixed message, but then if we look at a graph of the global trends, it actually looks as though we're not doing too badly. Malaria figures. Again, WHO, 3.3 billion people at risk of malaria, 1.2 billion at high risk, mainly in the WHO African and Southeast Asia region. There are estimated to be 247 million episodes of malaria in 2006, 80% occurring in Africa, with an estimate of 880,000 deaths. The current four key interventions where they're looking for targets of 80% are around insecticide-treated bed nets, appropriate anti-malarial drugs for patients with probable and confirmed malaria, indoor residual spraying, and intermittent preventive treatment in pregnancy. So that is the way uh, control is being targeted, and then the MDG has to fit into these control strategies. The comment, very simple comment from the ND, uh, UNDP is, malaria control efforts are paying off, but additional effort is needed. So the first two diseases from <coughs> the way I've presented are, we're actually doing okay. So for me, moving on to more familiar territory around tuberculosis, the target is to halt and begin to reverse the in <coughs> incidence of malaria and other major diseases, and TB, incidence, prevalence, and death rates, and the proportion of tuberculosis cases detected and cured under the directly observed therapy short course uh, strategy. This is the WHO strategy for TB control. It has five components to it that include government commitment, directly observed therapy of standardized treatments, standardized recording and reporting, microscopy for um, examination and, and diagnosis, and finally, <coughs> uninterrupted supply of drugs. Graph shows here that incidence rates are stable or falling slowly, even in Africa, which is the, the uh, red line on the graph. And then if we look at TB prevalence and mortality, also there are signs that things are improving. Decreasing prevalence, decreasing mortality. But the Stop TB Department at the World Health Organization indicates that although they're falling, 
they need to fall faster in order to reach the targets for the MDGs and also the targets that have been set by WHO itself. Progress is certainly being made on these three particular diseases. I want to just focus now a little bit, a bit on the intrinsic problems related to MDG 6 and some of the prospects for change um, that I believe are, are already occurring. So it could be argued that the, some of the targets are, are inappropriate. Certainly target two, which is around antiretroviral rollout, is potentially a problem. But remember, I, it's this issue around who should be receiving the ART, which will obviously affect what, what the figure looks like and the figure that is actually presented. So I would argue that the statement that we would have universal access to treatment for HIV AIDS by 2010 is, is not achievable. But I'm encouraged generally by the progress being made using the perspectives of the MDGs as a way of forcing international governments to engage and work together on global issues. For MDG 6, it's led to an increase in funding for disease control activities and the need now is to expand the disease control by a medical perspective to include other sectors and to focus on the creation of healthy communities. 